The Brain vs. The Laptop The Ultimate Memory Showdown Hello Science Tellers! Welcome to another episode of Science Deli, where we explore the fascinating world of science and technology. Today, we are going to compare the brain and the laptop, and find out which one has more gigabytes of memory. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. The Brain vs. The Laptop Which one has more gigabytes of memory? The Brain and the Laptop are both devices that can store and process information. But how do they differ in capacity and functionality? Let's find out. The Brain is a complex organ that consists of about 86 billion neurons, or nerve cells, that communicate with each other through electrical and chemical signals. Each neuron has about 10,000 connections to other neurons, forming a network of over a trillion synapses, or junctions. The brain can store and retrieve information from its memory, learn from experience, and adapt to changing situations. The brain also controls the functions of the body, such as breathing, heartbeat, movement, and emotions. The laptop is a simple device that consists of a CPU, a RAM, a hard drive, and a battery. The CPU, or central processing unit, is the brain of the laptop that executes instructions and performs calculations. The RAM, or random access memory, is the short-term memory of the laptop that stores data and instructions for the CPU. The hard drive, or disk drive, is the long-term memory of the laptop that stores files and programs. The battery is the power source of the laptop that provides electricity. So, how do the brain and the laptop compare in memory and functionality? Here are some key points. The brain has more memory than the laptop in terms of capacity. The brain can store about one exabyte of data, which is equivalent to one billion gigabyte. The laptop can store about one terabyte of data, which is equivalent to 1,000 gigabytes. This means that the brain can store about one million times more data than the laptop in the same amount of space. The brain has more memory than the laptop in terms of functionality. The brain can store and access information from its memory in a flexible and associative way. The brain can also learn from its memory and improve its performance over time. The laptop can store and access information from its memory in a rigid and sequential way. The laptop can only execute predefined instructions and cannot learn from its memory. The laptop has more memory than the brain in terms of speed and reliability. The laptop can process information at a rate of about 100 gigaflops, or 100 billion calculations per second. The laptop can also store and retrieve information from its memory in a matter of milliseconds. The brain can process information at a rate of about 1 exaflops, or 1 billion billion calculations per second. However, the brain can only store and retrieve information from its memory in a matter of seconds or minutes. The laptop can also preserve information for longer periods of time as long as it has power and storage space. The brain can degrade over time, due to aging, disease, or injury. So, which one has more gigabytes of memory? The brain or the laptop? The answer is not so simple, as it depends on the criteria and the context. The brain has more gigabytes of memory than the laptop in terms of capacity and functionality. The laptop has more gigabytes of memory than the brain in terms of speed and reliability. However, both devices have their own advantages and limitations, and they can complement each other and work together for various purposes. The brain and the laptop are both remarkable devices that can store and process information in different ways. The brain is a natural and sophisticated device that can store information with high capacity and functionality. The laptop is an artificial and simple device that can store information with high speed and reliability. By combining the strengths of both, we can create better solutions for storing and processing information in various situations. Thank you for watching this episode of Science Deli. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.